Hi, uh, my name is Jill with ILO Games. I'm working with Little Polygon Games, and we're making this game called Battle Buddies. That's obviously a working title. Uh, we'll try to be more clever about it later. Uh, the last video I made we thought was cool, but it didn't explain very much, so I wanted to make a video where um, at least we try to explain some of the mechanics and what was going on in the game. Uh, this is just for loading levels, it's not a final menu, and lots of our art in the game is not final. We're, we're less than three months into the project, so, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of rough things in there. One of the new things that we added is multiplayer, and uh, in order to show you some of the mechanics, I'm going to make a multiplayer game, and I'm going to play against myself. Uh, I'm going to start with this easy level here. It doesn't have a whole lot of units. Uh, so, uh, both sides start with uh, this guy called the core. The core can do two things. It can attack and it can build. Uh, you'll see all these scrap piles uh, lying around. And uh, whenever the core gets close to one of them, they get a little wrench icon. Uh, and that lets them build a unit. So this made an archer. Uh, so uh, each of the units, you know, have their own attacks. Um, we fought, we followed kind of some basic like RPG tropes, like there's a archer, there's a warrior, um, there's a mage, uh, but we have some more interesting stuff a little later. So uh, the white squares as I walk around, those are uh, my possible range when there's a yellow highlight. Uh, that means something is targetable. So I'm just going to stand right here, but I don't want to attack the scrap. Now the only unit that can build units out of scraps is the core, so you don't want to uh, attack the scraps with other units, because they, they'll just destroy it. Um, this guy will build a warrior. A uh, warrior has a few more HP. Um, it can just attack directly what's in front of it. It's kind of a grunt. This is a mage. Um, mages are a little bit more interesting. Uh, aside from having a magic attack, like they can target terrain. So all of this terrain here I can just destroy. So if I wanted to, I could literally just punch, punch a hole in the level. Um, and when it hits a uh, bad guy, it's a pretty strong attack. for no reason. Uh, the warrior's got two attack and it's got three hit points. The archer's got two attack and two hit points, so this guy's gonna die pretty quickly. It's another warrior. Shall avenge the other boy, uh, the archer that I just lost. I can attack up this hill a little bit. This guy. There's a hole in this guy. So the mages have the strongest attack. Well, the second strongest attack out of all the units. They hit the three. Core also has pretty strong attack. It also has the most good points. Uh, another thing about the archer is, uh, see, see where his range is right now? Like he can't attack directly close to him, but he can attack one space out. When I go up, um, his range extends. So anything that's below him, he can hit further out. Um, but he also can't attack things that are, are directly in front of him. Okay, kill that guy. This guy. And the object of the two player mode is to destroy the other person's core. So when the core dies, the game is over. And I'm going to go ahead and end this game. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll make another video about more advanced mechanics.